So let's just go for the railing tool and I'm going to double click. I could choose the same one, but I'm actually I'm going to go for a different one this time. I'm going to go for this one here and I'll just take the default settings. I'm not too worried about what it looks like because um, let's be honest, I don't think anybody's ever going to build this, but if I hit OK, all I'll do is just drop this into place. So just any old place right now and what I can do is pick it up then I'm just going to drag it and snap onto that edge there. So it might be on the edge, it might be over the edge, whatever you want, you can control it. So with it selected, I'm going to drop back in and I'm going to switch on graphic editing. And we have three options. The first one is insert nodes. We can then curve the edges and we can then adjust the components within that. So we'll go with editing the overall shape. What then happens is a number of hotspots appear. So we have ends that allow us to pick up and stretch. We have controls here that actually allow us to extend and add more sections onto the railing, so I don't actually need that right now, so I'll undo. Same at this end, and then we also have intermediate points, and these allow us to then go and find, there we go, black pencil on the end of that segment of the slab. We can snap that into place. We can then move this one, and I've probably just shot myself in the foot. Yep, because I can't see the point underneath. So let's just move that down here completely, and then we'll move it back. So there's a point right there. So I was almost on top of it. So I'll put it there, and that gives me the control points I need to enable me to drop back in, change now to the curving the edges, and then the midpoints that appear allow me to just snap there and there to then create the curve around that slab. So when we go to 3D, we can see how it physically appears.